Hello everybody and welcome to the latest edition of the Compliance Kitchen. In this edition we're going to be taking a look at producing procedures that are relevant to your organisation and how you do things. My name is Jodie Reid from Penarth Management Limited and working as a consultant in the world of compliance consultancy over the years I've seen a lot of people think that writing procedures is easy or in fact they try and shortcut the the process because they think that company's got ISO 9001 I'll copy their procedures well I'm going to show you why that doesn't work and it doesn't even work if the organization that you're copying from is in the same industry and with the assistance of R2D2 here I'm going to show you how I make the perfect cup of tea now for some people they will make their idea of a perfect cup of tea is just to dunk the tea bag to my mind that doesn't generate the results that I'm looking for I'm looking for a quality cuppa and so we're going to start by popping the kettle on. So the kettle's on. We can hear that it's making progress. One of the things that you need to do to get the perfect cup of tea is warm the pot. Now this is an essential step in the process to make sure that the teapot is warm. Without this step, without that part of the process, the tea won't be warm. Now I can feel already that the teapot is nice and warm and that's going to keep its residual heat um, whilst the rest of the water boils. In the meantime, I'm going to get my tea bags. And here's another difference between dunkers and those who like to make tea in the pot. I was always taught that it's one tea bag per person and there's going to be two of us, so that's two tea bags and one for the pot. So that's three tea bags going in for two people. So remember that magic formula, one tea bag for each person and one for the pot. The kettle is now boiling so we, it's now time for us to add the water to the teapot. We make sure there's enough water to make the two cups that we're looking for and just a little bit extra, no more. The tea's in the pot brewing nicely so the next thing to do is get the cups ready. What I'm not going to do yet is add the milk and the reason I'm not going to add the milk yet is I was always taught to add the milk afterwards that way you can actually tell what colour the cup of tea is going to be so you can actually gauge the strength accurately so that milk will not be getting added until the tea goes into the cup. And for the same reason, um, I take sugar, my husband doesn't. I'm not going to add the sugar until after I've added the milk. I like my tea on the stronger side compared to Tom, so I'm going to make sure the sugar gets added to the stronger cup of tea. So our tea is ready to pour. So now I can add the milk, not too much into mine, but quite a bit into Tom's. And there, because I've added the milk in the right sequence, I can see I've got the colouring just right. So now I can add my sugar. and that for me is the perfect cup of tea coming back to the original point of the video I said that organizations sometimes make the mistake of borrowing somebody else's procedures and trying to make them fit for their organization but hopefully you can see that even taking this simple example of making a cup of tea, the dunking methodology shown here,
to my mind is going to end up resembling something that looks and probably tastes like dish water and I'm not going to be very happy if you try and serve me something like that. Now it may look like the basic steps here are very similar but here in the example that I've just shown you we've got the additional stage of the teapot and in the teapot, if you remember, we brew the tea with the right number of tea bags for the number of people plus one tea bag for the teapot. Um, and that, to my mind, gives us the perfect cup of tea. So they, whilst both processes produce something that appears similar, you end up with a product of completely different quality so you're targeting a different audience so it's really really important to make sure that you are documenting the, pr the processes that reflect the way your organization does things.